I hate them. It's a wet loaf. Hi everybody. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jordan Show. I'm Kimpton. I'm Kimpton Hotels. Oh, uh, I'd like to make a reservation. <laughs> I'm Kristen. I'm Jen. I don't know why we're using real names and today. Alternatively, that's Kitchen. That's also Jorn. Today we're going to be trying every new Trader Joe's food for December. Don't for worry, December. I got gotcha. you. I was like, today we are going to be zoning out in space until we remember why it is that we're on camera in the first place. All right, so ha happy holidays, y'all. We're filming this in December, which is great. It's because December It's literally 1st. December 1st. These are all the new products that were released for the month of December, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. There are about- so exciting. It's so, so exciting. exciting. I think there's like 14 new items. There's a good assortment of savory and sweet. Also, there's a couple drinks. As per usual, when Jen and I rate items, we do it on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great. And if you absolutely suck, your penalty box back. If Kristen and I disagree on an item, it goes in the fight box, all right? It's a secret category for when we just can't seem to see eye to eye. It's not really a secret category because we, tell, like, you we tell you about it. it. So it's not really that, but I think at some point we'll do a video where Brie evaluates everything in the fight box. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. We clean up the fight box. Yeah. First, what's this? What hath God wrought? All right, so we might as well just get into it. So the first Trader Joe's item that we are going to be trying today is their meatless breakfast sausage patties. So these are vegan. It's a plant-based alternative to like, obviously regular sausage. You can cook them in the microwave, which we did. And I mean, it's juicy. It juiced all over the plate. I like, I mean, I prefer plant-based alternatives to like, you know, Lego-based alternatives, I guess. Totally, McDotally, dude. It smells kind of maple-y. This tastes like frozen egg rolls. Like, not good ones. It's sort of like a sponge. Yeah. It's sort, I, of, a, it's sort of a breakfast sponge. Yeah, it's, it's it tastes know? spongy and not super flavorful. It's I, just okay. If I can see a whole lentil in there, you haven't done your job, okay? I don't want to know about the vegetables, okay? The vegetables are supposed to be in the witness protection program. We shouldn't even know the vegetables were around, okay? Well, I, 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 it's, just okay. it's just okay. <laughs> The next item we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's kimbap, which is Korean tofu and vegetable seaweed rice rolls. So these, at the Trader Joe's, there was a sign next to these on the display that said only one per customer, and it was almost sold out. So I'm guessing what? they're pretty popular. So I live near Koreatown, so I love kimbap. You can get it with different types of meats, different veggies. It's super hot. These are ones that you can just prepare in the microwave. Let's try this kimbap. Here, you can have that one. I'll try this one. Oh, you let me have that one? I don't know. I'm being weird. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Mm. Oh, hold on. Okay. Mm. Flavor-wise, these aren't bad. They taste, you know, veggie, meat, great. The texture of the rice, I think, after being reheated is a little bit what's throwing me off here. The rice texture is what's kind of bringing their rating down for me. Like I, I would say these are just okay. I would like them to be better because I think it actually is really cool that you can like buy these already made. But Kristen hasn't said a word because she's still chewing the rice. Like that says how chewy it is. I put the whole thing in my mouth. I thought it was an inclusive experience, okay? I didn't want to deprive myself of all the information. Jeez, that took forever to eat. <laughs> it's just Seaweed chewy. reheated. Yeah, reheated seaweed, not reheated the best. Reheated seaweed is not good. It's not terrible. I just, but I don't understand like why it was flying off the shelves. Yeah, I think just cause it was new. I think these are a fun, a fun new product for Trader Joe's to try. I think in a pinch, they're decent as a, like a good snack, but yeah, they're just okay. They're just okay. They're just okay. So the next thing we're trying is the artichoke bread pudding. I this love is... savory bread pudding. Yeah. I love them. I love them. I love them. Love that. Before we get into trying this artichoke bread pudding, it's a Kristen earring intermission. Tell Kristen us about those earrings. earrings. Okay. Tell this, us about those earrings, girl. This is cherry limeade, and this is a fry bread taco, and they are the powwow food earrings. And, Pretty cool. And they're from uh, Sweetgrass Beads. That's Heather Stewart. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love savory bread pudding. Let's do it then. Savory bread pudding is f***ing delicious. I mean, we had two bread puddings on Thanksgiving. We had a savory bread pudding and then our so our stuff. This is, oh, oh, I can already tell it's not gonna be good. I'm really glad that we stopped being weird about the word moist. It's actually a very descriptive word. It's also not gross. Calm down. Oh, too hot. It's not too hot. It is too bad. Honestly, I just taste artichoke. It's kind of like eating soggy artichoke hearts. I like artichoke, but I'd rather just eat an artichoke than eat this. It's too moist. Choke does this flavor. have an oven option? It does have an oven option. Okay. We prepared this in the microwave. Okay, so, I, so th I think if you put this in an oven, I think it would be better. Yeah. I think this is just okay in the microwave, 
probably pretty good in the oven. In the it, microwave? In the microwave, it is... Soggy. Wet. It's pretty... It's, it's a wet loaf. And that wet loaf, baby, is just okay. It's just okay. It is kind of cheesy. All right, so the next item we are going to be trying is the Trader Joe's Beef Bulgogi. Thinly sliced marinated beef in a sweet and savory sauce. It's just beef. It's savory it's beef. Just, it's just beef. You know that Jen is a Virgo? You're a Virgo moon. I'm a Virgo moon. You're a Virgo moon. You're an Aries sun, Virgo moon. Uh, Aries rising. Aries rising. Oh my God, you're double Aries. I'm a double Aries, so I'm double irritated. You're double Aries, but the fact that you're a Virgo moon is so funny to me. It's like, it's very... But but it's, it's pretty accurate. It is very accurate. People who like don't know Jen personally might be like, what? Jen's a Virgo moon? Jen very much is a Virgo moon. You are a power bottom if ever there was one. Me, baby. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini sun, Capricorn, moon, Libra rising. And my Venus is in Gemini as well, which is like, obviously. <laughs> I'm just killing time while this cools off. <laughs> Thinly sliced beef, I think you have the problem where it can be a little bit grainy. However, you're not really meant to just eat this on its own. Like you're supposed to make this with rice and you can put veggies on it. You can add like your own sauces or whatever. Like honestly, on its own, it's a little bit boring. It's possible that we're just kind of spoiled because it's like, I ate that and I was like, oh my God, it kind of makes me want like actual good bulgogi now. I think it's pretty good for what you it is. You think it's pretty good? I think it's pretty good. I think it could be a lot better. Oh, this is going to the fight box. I do not agree at all. I think all it's right. just okay. I think it's, I think it, I think you'd have to do a lot to this to get it to the point where it's really good. Uh, yeah, so beef bulgogi, fight box. Jen thinks it's pretty good. Kristen thinks it's just okay. I think it's just okay. So this item are called shrimp pouches of many colors. They're just festive shrimp dumplings. I made one of every color just Why? to see, you know, because they're kind of fun. We don't have to eat that many. Again, they're they're shrimp dumplings that we've made in the microwave. Seafood dumplings in the microwave. Yeah, I mean, it's the not- The things I do for this show. Oh God, I hate this. I hate them. Are they bad? I don't like them. Okay, hold on. Oh my God. Oh. God, I need a whole the shrimp one. is pretty soggy and it, mostly you just taste ginger. Like you're not getting really any other flavor but ginger and it's coming in like a kind of soggy shrimp package. Is hot fish a thing that you like? Hot fish. Hot we'll clean fish. up the town. Hot fish. She's wearing that gown. <laughs> Ooh, I think they're penalty box All bad. All right, these are penalty box I bad. I think they're penalty box bad. It's just, honestly, it just tastes of mushy ginger. That's all you're getting. There's no, like, any other flavor. You don't even really taste the shrimp. Anyway, anyway. Uh, the next thing we're gonna be eating is, is mochi. So Trader Joe's has been making mochi treats. I didn't realize that this, this, this chocolate mochi was new. Yeah, I, that was on their list of new products. So this is chocolate mochi. Oh, this is good. If you're not familiar with mochi, it's mm. like, in the at least in the, in the dessert form, right? It's Sort of like a sticky dough that surrounds the ice cream. It's Trader Joe's ice cream on the inside. It tastes like a Trader Joe's dessert You can to figure me. out where it came from. Yeah, it's just ice cream in like a sweet little dough. Oh, and these are gluten-free, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I think these are pretty good. <laughs> Those are pretty good. So next we have the cinnamon bun inspired truffles. Ooh, what does that mean? Okay, so these are milk chocolate with a cinnamon and caramel filling and dusted with powdered sugar. They're dusted with powdered sugar. I actually really like the cinnamon and the caramel together. Yeah, actually, it's just wow. quite good. Yeah, these are tasty. I complained a lot, but it you was know what? for nothing. I mean, rightfully, like, I guess because they're cinnamon, but yeah, it reminds me of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but yeah. with chocolate. <laughs> This is like a cinnamon toast crunch with a chocolate. So it's not just like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Like there's some more, there's some- More flavor. I wish it was salted. Yeah. But honestly, like, wow, you see where they got the inspiration and they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. It does need salt though. Yeah. Next we have this raspberry croissant, raspberry croissant carré, all butter croissant with raspberry filling. Oh, interesting. Interesting smell. Let me smell it. It is very like raspberry. It smells like the raspberry preserves. It does smell like the raspberry preserves. And I wonder if that's, that's, that's probably, probably what's, that's probably what's inside is the Trader Joe's raspberry preserves. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, that's literally exactly what's inside it. This is basically a, a croissant coffee cake. Since it's a really thick pastry, it, it definitely, it just tastes like coffee cake to me. It kind of tastes like stale croissant with raspberry inside. It's giving coffee cake, but it's not even a good coffee cake. It's kind of like a dry, so dry. coffee cake. It's like, what if you found a croissant in your car and you hadn't seen your car in three years? <laughs> and you put raspberry in it and ate it. And ate it. This is just okay. <laughs> Don't okay. It's just okay. <laughs> Next, we have the Trader Joe's Stolen Crisps. I hate these types of crackers. This is like the holiday gift basket cracker. These are like charcuterie crackers. It's crispy and sweet cracker inspired by German holiday bread with raisins, powdered sugar, orange, and lemon peels. To me, they taste more like a cookie. 
Well, I think they're meant for like a sweet spread. Yeah. Like a cheese or something. I bet if you put like some sort of like goat cheese on this, oh, I bet goat cheese on this would be delicious. That's what they say. They say like ideal partners to a whip chevro or maybe an aged Gouda. <gasps> an aged Gouda. They're interesting. Yeah. The orange, you taste the lemon peel, like, it's German Christmas, not I sat at the bottom of the FedEx truck for several hours before being delivered to your house. It's delicious. Really great. Really great. Really great. All right, cool. Wow, that was our first really great is the crackers that you thought you were gonna hate. I know. Next we have the Eub de Provence triangles. What? <laughs> uh, I said what I said. It's the Eub de Provence. They're just triangle they're tri crackers? They're tri they're, no, they're edible triangles. Somebody Damn. actually made a triangle into a food. They look like layered pita chips. Mm. Okay, those are pretty good. <laughs> Super buttery on the inside. It's because they're buttery. The mm -hmm. butteriness is what saves them. Yeah, the herbs taste good. And you know what, they, call, they call them buttery on the box and they actually live up to that. I think these are actually pretty good. I was surprised. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud too. Wow. Now we're trying the Trader Joe's something spritzy, a sparkling festive beverage. I just, none of their non-alcoholic beverages will ever top that jalapeno lime juice for me. Yeah. That, that jalapeno lime juice was like. That was great. So you have a big shoes to what fill. What is this? What flavor is it? Grapefruit, cranberry, orange juices from a concentrate and aromatic bitter flavors. Interesting. Cheers. This is a non-alcoholic Aperol spray. And it tastes like, well, honestly. That's exactly what it tastes like. That's exactly what it tastes like. I actually think this is pretty refreshing. This is it's actually like, pretty good. It's tart, but not too tart. And it definitely has like- This is actually pretty good. Aromatic bitters. Like there's definitely like a unique smell to it. I, I think that that's sort of the key to mocktails that actually taste like they have like depth of flavor is having the aromatics and the bitters in there because like then you're not just like having juice. Right. What's huh. crazy about this is they sold these in single serve cans. What? Which is really weird. I know, I was shocked. I, I was like, okay. I feel like I would stock, like this is like a good party beverage to have. Yeah. I'd say this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Yeah. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. So this is the Trader Joe's Chilean Cab Sove. It's from, it's the Grand Reserva. It's from 2020. It's only aged for uh, three years, but I guess three years for Trader Joe's wine is a while. How does it smell? It smells okay. It's gonna be tight as What does tight mean in the context of a wine? Tight means it needs to like oxygenate a little bit. Like it needs to like breathe. When you uncork wine and it interacts with oxygen, yeah. oxygen interacts with wine in such a way where it opens up the flavors. Yeah. So when you say wine is tight, it, it means you're drinking it straight out of the bottle. You're drinking basically. it straight out of the bottle. I didn't even like decant it. I would give it like the little, the TV swirl a little bit just to aerate it slightly. Sure, sure, sure. Like, I don't think it's gonna help that much. Let's but, just try it. Yeah. Kristen pulled out a bigger glass. Ooh, okay. So I don't really know wine. So to my I am like, this tastes fine. It is so dry. It is dry. It is dry to the f bone. It's like the driest cab I think I've ever tasted in my life. It doesn't even taste like a cab to me, honest. Like, I don't know. I don't know. What are we doing here? This isn't good. I don't, we don't need to overthink this. Do you think it's penalty box bad? I don't think it's penalty box bad, but like, will we'll it get you drunk? Yeah. yeah. It's not broken. <laughs> Yeah, it's not broken. It's not broken. We've had much better Trader Joe's wine. Yeah, we have. Uh, this isn't good. I keep trying to drink it thinking it'll get better. It's not. It's not getting better. It's just okay. It's just okay. All right, final item of the video. We're both really excited about this. This is the new Trader Joe's tiramisu. They don't have, this is their, I want to say their first tiramisu or their only tiramisu. Okay, I accidentally thumbed it. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Okay, great. Trader Joe's tiramisu. I think the mistake is they use chocolate lady fingers. I think that's a mistake. I think it makes it too bitter. Oh, are, are they chocolate lady fingers? Am I crazy? I don't think they're chocolate. They're just soaked in coffee. You might still think it's too bitter. I think it's too bitter. Okay. Too much, just too much cocoa powder on top. I like it. I think it's like pretty tasty. I like coffee flavored I love a lot. tiramisu. Tiramisu is my favorite dessert. So like I have high tiramisu standards. I think this one is too bitter. It's fair. The Trader Joe's tiramisu. Just okay. <laughs> just okay. It's just okay. The Trader Joe's <laughs> food for December's not good. Not this good. Is, this, is, a little, this is a bad batch of food. This they're is, a little disappointing. Yeah. We only is, had like uh, two really great, so we didn't have that many. And there were a couple where they sort of got graded on a curve a little bit, where yeah. I was like, ooh, I can tell this is gonna be a uh, rough day. Let us know in the comments what other well, foods you'd like us to try. We release new videos every Friday at 12 whether p.m. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. A lot of you don't. We see those comments too. <laughs> whether you like it or not, we release a new video every Friday at 12 Pacific Standard Time. Subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Is there powdered chocolate all over my face? No, there's none. <sighs> I failed. All right, bye! Bye! <laughs> bye. <laughs>